Good morning! Time for work. I don't think I'm up to it. I'm just not creatively fulfilled in retail. Josie, we've talked about this. Work isn't about fulfilment. It's about earning money so you can buy stuff that makes you feel fulfilled. Your brain is the enemy, so just stop. And can you try and smile a bit more when you're with us? Dev says he finds you a haunting presence, and I prefer if his libido wasn't dragged down by your face. There she is. Ready for the big wide world. Have you farted? I can't do it in my room. Dev's in there. Do I really have to go inside? Please don't make me go inside. I think I'm having a panic attack. Yeah, my tits feel really tight. Do other people really just walk around pretending they're absolutely fine when everything inside their head is on fire? I genuinely think I'd rather be dead than if I've got to spend the rest of my life smiling and pretending like I'm someone else. Get out of the fucking car. Where you been? Really shouldn't talk about it. He thinks the girl is troubled. I don't want to suck you into my vortex. Come on. I made a hot chocky and everything. Talk to me. OK. Well, Mum's got this new boyfriend called Dev, right? And he's really nice. And I really thought we were getting on. But then basically, Mum came in this morning and told me that my face was actually preventing him from being able to get an erection which is an issue because he's got a massive house. I think the problem was that I walked in on him fingering her in the kitchen bent over the toaster. But I didn't mean to make him uncomfortable. I just wanted to talk to him. And how did it go? Well, it was like he was trying to birth a lamb, but the lamb didn't want to come out yet. No, I, I meant talking to him. Oh. Well, we didn't get that far. I think we were both a bit distracted. Do you, do you really think my face could prevent him getting an erection? I don't know. Oh, this is actually um cold. Uh, I'm just going to go reheat. <laughs> 